Hi, I'll try and do a uh, a tumbling stream in a, in a, in a wood. Uh, so I'm going to wet the paper all over. It's Fab oops, I'm going to be clipped on. Fabriana, 130 pound, 15 inches by 11, and uh, the palette. There's a lemon yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, paint away, burnt sienna. I've squeezed some of these colours out well, yesterday and they haven't sort of dried off any, so that could be to the good. So just give the paper a bit of a wet. And then we'll warm it up with a bit of sienna for our, our background. Nothing more than that really. Look at my bit of cloth, which hopefully is dried out by now. Right, now we'll put in some colour in that background, so we'll have some ultramarine, a bit of alizarin. For the background colour, that's a bit too dark. Look. The ultramarine is, is fresh out of the tube yesterday, and so is the other in this room. So let's just and add some nice yellow in there with a bit of a bit of a lizard. A bit muddy. The um, lemon yellow doesn't seem to soften off quite as. Uh, Easier some of the other colours, so I just work at those. Let's just put in some some of this. Now I want to go darker now. So ultramarine, glycerin. Let's just get some some bit of mood in. Okay. For this, okay, let that spread a little bit. So we'll uh, just etch out some some background trees before it dries. The fingernail, take some right off the paper. And as, as this dries, we can add some more. Branches and trunks and things. Okay, let's reclip this. I'm going to put in some foreground. Well, and a bit of distance as well. Uh, Alizarin blue. Get some dark in there. Let's see if I can do this without Payne's grey. Ultramarine, burnt sienna, and plenty of, uh, plenty of everything really. Right, let's get some greeny stuff in here. Blue, alizarin, sienna for some, for scraping out the rocks. dark colour in these these rocks so when, when we scrape you'll get a contrast so I'll just do that in there it's supposed to be rocks just prior to etching out so right, I want some darker colours in here so
sort of fantasy, really. These darks. Let's keep it wet. Right, card. Uh, Catching up, scraping out the lights. Oh. Well, I can texture over that. Some of this short here. Been for the bike ride this morning. People were walking faster than we were riding our bikes. As this dries, I'll put in the background. Now we want to put a green in there, I think so. Dark green. Just just in this tangle of the undergrowth. Now we're putting some stuff in here. This is the uh, shadow in the in the rocks. Algae. Oh, a little reclip. Making this up on the hoof as we go along. Let that dry off a little bit and we'll start to put in some background trees, probably do some texturing. So background trees blue, bit of alizarin, same colours. Uh, let's just So I'm going off the top. Oops, no matter about that. Just thicken up some of this here. I will put some hard ones, some warmer ones, in here. See what you can do with a hake, it's such an impressionist brush that it would do so many different things. Now I'll some warmer ones. Let's give this one a bit warmer. Don't make them all the same colour. The old wood. I'll do some of this with the rigger. It's coming across here. I do them all. It's uh, I don't want them to be too much of a regiment. All right.
sort of having fun with it really. Scrape out some bits and pieces. Uh, I'm going to texture down below a bit, put some stronger bits and pieces in. Right, I'll, uh, let's get a making a bit of a grey. Okay, we'll have one coming, coming, going in from the side here. Much stronger. When your brush splits, just touch it a bit, a bit of damp and. All this tangle of growth now. We'll see if we can put some dark. I'll use a bit of paint spray for, for a quick shortcut for darks on one side here. Okay, now then, some nice darkish greeny. I'm going to bring that over my little rocks. So paint down to the rocks. Get that nice mysterious background going. Okay, that seems to have lost it. That's all right. Right. Uh, I'll go back over to here and I'll put in some. I'll do the. I'll do the water. Let's. Uh, now it's, it's a fast flowing. What do you want to do? It? Fast flowing. Uh, mm -hmm. Now that's a dilemma. I can either paint that flowing, which I'm tempted to do, with those background colours. I'll. I'll. I'll do that. And just put in some of that dark. Showing the shadows. Okay. Put some more dark in there. Just bring that reflecting into there a little bit. Just putting the darks in, in close to the shore. Okay. Now the, you won't see any actual reflections of the branches of the trees. I'm just going to dry that off. I want to just scumble over that. All right, take your headphones off or mute. Okay, so it's all to me colours, so bit of this and bit of that. A bit darker, a bit redder. Okay, a bit, 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 bit darker now, some of this. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll kind of dry the brush and then start to stipple. Just a little bit. Into all 
bottom now. It's freezing cold this morning on a bike ride for a while. Break the brush up into all different individual brushes and then just step it away. Got to put a bit of dark in there as well. And some yellow because we would have some greeny bits. Let's have a few leaves on there. Falling leaves. Right now, a bit of, bit of bigger work. And then, call that a day. Not enough water now. Just a little bit of something a bit different now. Let's uh, just put something in. Sure that works, but some warm colours in here. Just clinging to the rock. Okay, whoops. Right, let's put a mount on it and see what we've done. This is sort of record time for me. But a limited amount of time. And let's so there we have a little woody, rocky scene. Done just about as quickly as I can. Let's put that over there. There we are, so woodland scene, maybe. Well, that's all right. right. I think those probably just a little bit too similar to, the, to here with the contrast. But I could, I suppose, just. Put a few warm darks in the rocks below. No, I'm going, I'm going to leave it. I don't want to do any more than that. So I don't know what we'll call it. We'll call it. Uh, hmm. Water in a glade. I'll think of a title. Let's just give it a Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye bye.